All right, guys. So welcome back to another video. Um, this is gameplay of my Kazuha. I had a lot of fun making this video. So um, as Ganyu gets glitched right here, I don't know what's going on. But you know, shout out to me, Hoyo, I guess, right? So uh, Kazuha. Do I think he's really good? Yes. Um, is he a must pull? Uh, that depends on your playstyle, right? Um, if you're having struggling, if you're struggling with the abyss and you have extra primos, um, and you have two main DPSs, then I would say yes, pull for him. Um, but if you have constellations on a sucrose, like three or more, I guess. Um, you really don't need this character, because Sucrose can do the same thing, but Kazuha just does it better, right? So, I guess that's what you're paying for, is the extra damage that Kazuha can potentially do, and, um, the extra swirling, I guess. So, um, thing about Kazuha is that he's very good, um, as a support. Uh, I haven't used him as a DPS yet, because I don't have a... C6 Kazuha, my Kazuha is C0, and I want to keep it that way because a lot of guys that play Genshin are not going to C6 every character. So um, this is just a potential at C0. Um, if a character needs to be C6 in order to use it, I don't think that um, you should pull on it personally. So, um, but we'll leave that alone right now. So Kazuha swirls really well. Um, Swirls with Pyro, uh, Cryo, and you can use, I guess, if you have a Mona, really good too. Um, I'm forgetting a few guys, but for for my teams, I like to use Kazuha with Bennett, Diona, Ganyu, and then um, Chongyun at times. Um, but you can choose whatever one the character that leaves an element on the ground, whether it may be like Mona's E or... Um, gone use E. It could even be um, Official's Bird. Uh, I forget the name right now. I'm blanking. But yeah, so uh, Kazuha is really strong. Uh, great character. But um, I wouldn't say it's a must pull. If I were to give him a rating out of 10, um, I'd give it a I'd give it an 8 out of 10. Um, mainly because he's really good, but uh, he needs other characters around him. Uh, so, and he needs to stay on the field to do what he does. Unless, like, you, you're just alt spammer, but um, if you have constellations, that's a different story. But as a C0 Kazuha, really good. I'd give it an 8 or 8.5. I, I don't know if I'd go over the 9 because I have Venti around 9 or 10. So, um, yeah, Kazuha. You just want to swirl the crap out of elements as much as you can, and then um, have a lot of characters around you with energy recharge. So, the set that I'm using right now for artifacts are two Veridescent and two, um, two Wanders. Now, don't run what I run if you have a better set, like a four piece, but if you don't have a four piece, um, Two Veridescent is not bad with uh, two Wanders because you get that plus 80 EM with the two piece Wanders and you get the animal damage that comes with Veridescent. So, um, yeah, this is the gameplay for Spiral Abyss. We'll just get into this right now. Um, I have Bennett, Xingqiu, Chongyun, and Kazuha. Um, this is the national team. I just took Zhongling off to see how Kazuha would do. Um, Kazuha is level 70. His talents, I believe, are, I think, 1, 6, and 1. I didn't upgrade his burst at all in this uh, run. But this just lets you know that he's really good. Um, I chose Sacrificial Blade. Uh, the optimal weapon is probably um, Whitebind, the one that gives you elemental mastery that you can craft. Or obviously the weapon banner one if you want to spend money and you know invest heavy on this character. But um, the thing about Kazuha that really hurts him right now, at, at least for me, is that um, I tried running Whitebind, but 
I realized that he wasn't getting his burst fast enough, so I didn't really like it. He was doing a lot of damage with swirling and whatnot, but Sacrificial Blade was something that I had to put on him just because he can get his ult back um, every single time he would plunge twice. So that's the problem I have with Kazuha. Let me know what you guys think as well. Um, Kazuha alone should be able to clear out a lot of the bosses that require different elements. And speaking on Kazuha, um, he does do a lot of things well, but at the same time, you have to realize what you're running to. Because he's really great for certain um, events, but right now Spiral Abyss is kind of giving him a boost right now. So he looks better when he's boosted, obviously, because Mihoyo is trying to sell the character to everybody. But when the Spiral Abyss event boost ends, where Swirl's not that much of a deal anymore, or Elemental Mastery's not much of a deal anymore, um, he might get a little nerf. Now, I'm not saying he's going to be bad, but it's just that he's not going to be what we kn knew him to be, if that makes sense. So, just be careful when you're summoning for characters and you're se you're seeing these guys clear spiral this. Um, so, yeah. I, so, similarities for this character, um, and if you have any of these and you're, you're like stuck on primos and wondering if you just summon or not, and, you know, if you're saving for a character that you really want, I would not say to pull on him. Um, the best way I would describe this character is, like, he's really fun, and he's really good, but he is not a must-pull. Um, now, the four stars on this character probably makes him a must-pull in some regard, because... Bennett is on this um, banner, and I love Bennett. Um, like I think he is the best character by far. He does everything you need him to do on a team. But I I really enjoy Bennett. So if people are starting the game and you're missing out on constellations for Bennett, or your Bennett's not that strong per se. Um, I would pull on Kazuha, but not simply for the fact that you want Kazuha, but for the simple fact that you want constellations on your Bennett. Now, that seems like a, you know, a luxury type of, you know, spending when it comes to using your primos, but I believe, in my opinion, Bennett is just that good. Um, as many constellations as you can get Bennett, it's really, really good. Bennett is, like, by far one of my first favorite characters and one of my first favorite characters in the game. Um, he literally does anything you want in the game, and you can put him on any team. Literally any team. Um, Kazuha, yes, you can put him on any team, but uh, he needs elemental reactions to help him. I guess, and Bennett is just, you know, a healer, a damage booster, what else, uh, energy recharger, um, he is like all of the above. He doesn't give you a shield, but the fact that he heals you that much um, means that you don't really need a shield. Now, so let's go back to Kazuha. Um, Kazuha banner. I think it's, the banner's really good. Uh, there's Razor on the banner, and there's Rosaria. Uh, Rosaria and Kazuha work really well. Um, Razor kind of works well if you're running Kazuha as an EM build, uh, but you just gotta be mindful that you have to have your Razor built because he's gonna be your main DPS. Um, but if you built a team of just those four, I think your team is gonna do really well. So I think you should pull on him. Now, having said all that, I do believe that Bennett is something that, you know, a lot of people should take an interest in because he comes and goes, so it's kind of tricky to predict what, which banner he'll be on next. But if you have primos and you need a really good support, like probably the, arguably the best support, 
Bennett is your guy, and I would like to see everybody use Bennett just because I've seen a lot of people struggle in the abyss and they're not even running a Bennett. So, um, Kazuha Banner, uh, I would say, is a, a must pull if you're lacking Bennett constellations, but if you have a C6 Bennett like me, um, I you don't need Kazuha. Uh, I have Venti, I have Sucrose. I didn't need Kazuha, but I wanted to get him just so that I could experiment with him and let you guys know how you can best use your Primos. So, with that being said, um, thank you for watching. If you made it this far, leave a like. Um, thank you so much for supporting me. I've been on and off with uploading, so um, I'm going to try to do as many uploads as I can with video ideas, so feel free to drop video ideas down below. Um, I will do my best to respond and try to make a video on whatever you guys need. So thank you again, and I'll see you next time.